Hello everyone, this is Dr. Lego, created by Xin Li and Xu Da Ling. This video is made for the course of CE542, Hydrology, from Purdue University. Welcome to my world. Today I'm gonna show you the rainwater harvest system in my house. Before that, let me show you the innovative rain gauge first. What you see now is the rain gauge, which was originally from Japan. When a rain event occurs, the roof and gutter would collect all the rainwater from the roof, and the gutter outlet would connect to the downspout, which can transmit the rainwater to the cistern. There's a huge amount of water that could be collected from the roof. Isn't it amazing? The whole statue stands on a floating block whose density is less than water. Due to the principle of flotation, the weight of the floating block together with the statue is equal to the weight of the amount of water that the floating block displaces. Therefore, the statue can rise up with the falling water. In Japan, people use this statue as a rainwater meter or rain gauge to show us how much precipitation occurred in one event. How much we can see the statue is equal to how much rainfall happened. Come on guys, the next stop is my home. Here's my home. Welcome guys. I want to show you the whole rainwater harvesting system because it is very common worldwide and it is also very easy to build. Specifically, this system was designed under the instruction from Oregon Department of Consumer and Business Service. I've introduced the roof and gutter part in the rain gauge that we just visited. In the rainwater harvesting system, the screen filter and the roof washer are also very important. Rainwater coming from a roof will inevitably contain dust, leaves, sticks, and other debris. A screen will remove much of these big debris. The first gallon per 100 feet of roof area should be discarded after each rain event to ensure only the cleanest water is harvested. The roof washer, also known as the first flush diverter, can help dispose the dusty initial water from the roof's surface. A simple first flush diverter will have a horizontal pipe that fills with the initial dust water when it starts to rain. As the water rises in the horizontal pipe, a plastic ball in the pipe rises and stops the flow to the diverter. When the rain stops, the water in the diverter pipe is slowly drained out through a small drain. The bottom should include a removable plug or cap for service. My rainwater storage tank uses a similar principle as the public rain gauge, but uh, simplified. No more statue just replaced by a floating intake. The drain is placed at the lower part of the tank, but above the bottom, so that the flow will not stir the sediment. The overflow is set at the top part, so when the tank is full, it can discharge the additional water to curb or let them infiltrate it into the soil. Additionally, a UV device can be applied in the center of the tank to control the microorganism's level, because UV can cause damage to their DNA or RNA. Besides, the storage tank can also be designed as a bench, where people can relax and enjoy the garden. Now we can use storage water to irrigate or wash our car. So convenient and economic, right? In my home, the rainwater harvested cannot be used in drinking nor bath, as there are still tons of microorganisms in it. If you want to use the rainwater as a drinking water source, you may need another set of equipment. Microfilter or nanofilter is necessary to get rid of particulates and very fine particles. Also, UV disinfection is important to make sure the microorganism's level is under a safe limit. Thank you for visiting my home. I hope you can take good memory as well as some rainwater harvesting tips back. Thank you.